I just want to talk to you today about a really great drill to get the feel for distance control when you're putting. Um, and how to practice that when you're on the green or putting green or, you know, out on the course and you just have extra time and you're, you know, kind of lazy going through the golf course, um, not really having to go at a, a specific pace. Um, how can you get better at controlling your speed on the greens? And a great drill that I once heard about that has helped me just tremendously um, in my dis control and practice around the greens is just putting to the fringe actually, and not necessarily putting at a hole. Because now I'm not really focused on making a putt, I'm just simply focused on how to control the speed, how to control and making the right stroke to hit at that distance, and that is all I am thinking about or focused on at that moment, and okay, kind of eliminating the other factors so that I can really, really focus on that part of my game. And I love this drill because you can do it anywhere Okay, you can do it on the putting green. If there's people going to holes already, you just find your space and you just putt towards the fringe. Um, you know, you can do it on the course. Like I said, if you have time and there's not a lot of people on the course, you can practice some extra putts on each green just to the fringe as you walk off the green um, on certain distances. And so what I would do when I practice this is just take a couple balls with me and start maybe 10 feet away from the fringe or 20 feet, whatever distances I really need to work on. Start there, and my goal is to simply roll this putt onto the fringe, okay, but only by about six inches or so. Not rolling it way past the fringe, but I wanna at least get it to the fringe because you can't make a putt if it's short, okay, but you wanna get it up onto that fringe but not too far. And so my goal is when I'm out here to hit it just six inches or so onto the fringe, and, and I'm gonna putt and just kinda repeat that and just focus on what it takes to do that. So maybe do it from 10 feet, maybe 20 feet, you know, I'm about 30 feet from the fringe right now. And then so I'm just going to kind of hit a few of these. And that's my goal. Let's see how good I get. If I hit a couple of them, how many of them can I roll barely to the fringe, but not too far past? Kind of feel what length of a stroke I need to take in order to do that. Okay. So, and then if I, you know, if I were to miss, that was pretty good speed. I did that pretty right. But then I would just adjust. So I'm learning as I go. So if I had hit it too hard or too soft, I just learn and adjust my stroke accordingly and see if I can repeat that and see if I can repeat it a couple of times and see if it's repeatable. If I'm getting the feel, okay, I should be able to do it, you know, three times in a row, the right speed, hopefully, <laughs> right? And that way I know, okay, I'm getting, I'm developing this habit. I'm developing this speed control into my putting, into my putting game. So I hope that drill helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today. And we want to welcome you to our YouTube page. Thank you for joining us. Please click the subscribe button below um, so you can get updated on when we put out new golf instructional videos. I hope you find some awesome things that will help your golf game on here. And when you're done, please head on back to www.learngolffromscratch.com to check out all of the amazing resources we have for you to learn golf and have more fun doing it. Thanks so much.